All right, so we have Beam Struggles in Dragon Ball games from 2004 to 2024. Let's get to video. Wow, this is classic. Wait, what's... <gasps> this is Dragon Ball C. Wait, wait. I... Wait. I remember this game. You have to move the thing. You have to have it like move like the analog. Wow. Can I be honest with you? Wow. Hey, oh my god, which one did I play on the on a GameCube? I think it was the one before this. Which one? I think I played the one before this, bro. There was a Dragon Ball game on the GameCube that I played, bro. I forgot I forgot the name of it. Was it Buddha Kai Uh Buddha Buddha Kai Tai Wow, man. I, I just say Budokai. I'm going to be honest with you. We got, we got Dragon Ball Budokai 2. Uh, two. Wowzers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yo, look at... Hey, look at Super Saiyan 4, bro. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, bro, you just have to move the analog quick, though. Like, bro, you was not... Bro, listen. If you slipped... If your finger, if your finger slipped up the analog, bro, it was over. It was over, bro. It was legit over. I, I promise you. Got full powered cooler. Uh oh. Uh oh. So we got full powered cooler and a uh, metal cooler, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Burst limit. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've watched uh, footage of Burst Summon. I've never played it before, though. Never played Burst Summon. This, this is one of the uh, Dragon Ball games that I never played. Uh oh. Oh, you have to mash all the buttons. Wow. Yeah, I've never, I've never played the Dragon Ball game before. Wow, this is. Uh oh. Raging Blast. I don't think I've ever played Raging Blast either. Oh man, I'm a rookie. Listen, I play like a lot of Dragon Ball games in my life, but bro, I never touch it, bro. Wow, I need to get right with the program. So we got Raging Blast again. Okay. Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh snap! Yo, that's hard. That is hard right there. Raging Blast two. I'm really a rookie. I'm gonna be, hey, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I never played Raging Blast 2. I'm such a rookie, bro. I know. I know. I know y'all like, yo, you haven't played Raging Blast? Are you serious? Yeah, I know, y'all. Dang, Goten got hit with all of it. What is this one? Ultimate Tinkai, I've never played this. Wait, what? I didn't even know this was a game. Dang, y'all, I'm a rookie, huh? Man, I am a new booty, bro. I am a new booty. I've never played Ultimate uh, Tinkai before. Man, I'm a new booty. Wow, okay. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm looking like a rookie right now. <laughs> hey, listen, don't kill me, y'all. Oh, snap it. It got the, it got the uh, CA animation. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. Dang. Wait, the, the, wait, the Kid Boo just tanked that? Uh-oh. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. They're matching the energy. Uh-oh. Yo, he matching the energy. Uh oh. I think next should be uh sparkling zero, right? Or no? Are, is there like a beam struggling uh Kakarot or no? Ooh. Or yo, is there? I don't think there's a beam struggling in Dragon Ball Fighters or nothing like that. Oh Kakarot! I, of course I played Kakarot before. Wow. Yep. Just mass, mass, mass. 
Dang. I have played Dragon Ball Kakarot. Bro, Kakarot's amazing, bro. Like, obviously, like, bro, you know, Sparkling Zero is, is man, that game was top tier, but, like, it was something about Kakarot that, that I always like. Seems like we're both sufficiently warmed up. Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Woo! Oh, they got it in Japanese, right? I feel like, bro, it's like, it's so much like animation in these, bro. Like, in the Sparkling Zero. Yo. Bro, it's so much animation, bro. Like, I. Dang, Jitty, you got wiped out, bro. You can't be the GOAT getting wiped out like that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys did enjoy this, man. I am a new booty. I have played like a lot of Dragon Ball games in my life, but never played Raging Blast, never played uh, Budokai, Budokai uh, Tinkaichi. Hopefully, I said that right. I, I'm going to just say Budokai. Uh, I've not played Budokai um, Ultimate, whatever. I've never played that before. Um, but to be honest with you, bro, like, uh, bro, Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero. Absolutely amazing game. I'm, I'm so glad that a lot of people are enjoying the game. After 17 years of a game not being out, man, man, it made a bang. It made a really good comeback. So comment down below, man. What do you guys think about um, these beam struggles? Bro, also comment down below. What is your favorite um, Dragon Ball game of all time? I'm going to give you my top three. Um, I forgot. There was, a, uh, there was a Dragon Ball game on a GameCube back then that I played. It was, it was my first ever game that I've ever played in my life. No, I'm lying. It was my second. It was my second game that I've ever played in my life. The first game I ever played in my life was uh, NFL Street on the GameCube. It was NFL Street, and then there was a Dragon Ball game that was on a GameCube. If anybody knows any Dragon Ball game on a GameCube, I literally forgot the name of it. But that's how literally how I got into Dragon Ball because I didn't even like watch the anime, or whatever. I, I legit played the game first, then like started to watch the TV show like every Saturday uh, on, on like a uh, on like a channel. It was like a free channel, or whatever, with the antenna back then. But uh, yeah, bro, those were the times. That, I, that's actually how we got into like uh, Dragon Ball, you know, by actually playing the game first. Um, and I know that's like kind of like, like weird or whatever, but that's just how I got into it, man. Uh, but I'll probably say top three. I'll probably say um, Sparkling Zeros in there already. I'm sorry, uh, Budu uh, Budu Budokai Tinkaichi. Sorry if I said that wrong, but that's in there as well. And bro, I'm I'm gonna just keep it completely honest, bro. Cat Grouse in there, bro. Cat Grouse in there, bro. But this is my only personal top three, though. I know a lot of people. Some people might have Raging Blast in there. Um, some people might have um, some people might have Kakarot in there. I know a lot of Dragon Ball fans are going to have Sparkling Zero in there. Um, I think Sparkling Zero is one of the best Dragon Ball games of all time. But that's just me and my opinion or whatever. That's how I think about it. Um, the fact that that game has so much animation with it, the gameplay is just absolutely is groundbreaking, bro. Um, every single character can stand out. I mean, I don't want to say every single character, but... You know, obviously, like, you know, Goku, Vegeta, you have, like, a lot of these powerful characters, whatever. It really shows, like, bro, like, like, the, like the animation and, like, some of these moves and stuff like that is crazy. Obviously, like, you know, we got some sweats in the game already. Like, the game hasn't even been out for, like, a month or barely even a month. You know, we have sweats and stuff like that. So, I mean, it is what it is. Like, that's just a part of any other game. Um, but, like, bro, I, I legit love the gameplay of Dragon, uh, Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero. Uh, Kakarot, I was mainly just focused on... For, to be honest, like Kakarot, I was I was mainly focused on like the uh on like the on, on like how can they make this game like how can they make this game better? Oh my God! Wait a minute! Wait! Oh my God! What was the game called, bro? No, no, there was a game. I played a Dragon Ball game uh like ten years ago. What was it called? Dragon Ball. It was it was Goku versus Beerus. Um, yeah, Goku and Beerus at like the no 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 Battle of Z right. Yo, Battle of Z, it was on a PS3. Okay, no, no, no. Scrap my no no. I'm, I'm scrapping my top three right now. Dragon Ball Battle of Z. That was bro. Oh my god, bro. I used to, bro, I used to take people's money in that game. Dragon Ball uh Battle of Z. Bro, Xenoverse. Xenoverse was a good game too. Oh man, hold up. Alright, hold on, hold on. I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Cause I love Xenoverse. I love, I love um Battle of Z as well. Budokai. Sparkling Zero. Okay, all right, hold up. I might have to make a top five. I might have to make a top five. Wait a minute, I'm tripping right now because all the Dragon Ball games are literally coming to my mind right now. All right, hold up. Okay, Battle of Z is in my top five. I'm gonna give you guys a top five. I can't give you a top three. It's too hard. Top five. Uh, Battle of Z is in there. Um. Oh, what else? Uh, Kakarot's in there. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Uh, Budokai's in there. I'll, I'll probably say the first one's in there. The Budokai uh, Tenkaichi, the first one. Um, I'm 
I'm putting Xenoverse in there. And give me and give me Sparkling Zero, bro. Yeah. Um, I look, I've never played Raging Blast before. Uh, never played uh Budokai the second. Yeah, never played Budokai, uh, Ultimate Budokai, whatever. Never played that before. Never played Raging Blast. I know I'm a rookie. I know. Don't kill me, but, bro, I bro, I legit just got. I was like, yo, wait, there was a game I used to play on the PS3, bro. I used to, bro, I legit used to play Battle of Z on the PS3 all day long. I used to look up um gameplay. I think I used to watch um Enda Kuba ten years ago play Battle of Z, which is crazy because like now I watch Enda Kuba now. And I didn't even know who in the Cuba was 10 years, like, like, I don't know, like six, seven years ago or like eight years. Bro, however long it was. But I used to watch in the Cuba play Battle of Z. He used to just play the game, like no commentary, no nothing. And I didn't even know who he was until like, um, obviously like four or five years ago when I, you know, when I really started watching him from like his Legends content, whatever. I looked back at like his older videos and I'm like, wait a minute, yo. I used to watch this guy. I used to watch in the Cuba like back then. It was crazy because I remember... Watching all these videos of Inda Cooper just playing the game, no commentary or nothing. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, there was, there was some um, who was I? There was a fight that I was stuck on. I couldn't beat a certain person. Who could? Who? Oh man, and there was a character that I couldn't even beat in Battle of Z, bro. I had so many characters and everything. I, I could not. I couldn't beat this one character, and I had to look it up. And I, that's how I ended up finding uh, Inda Cooper because he was just playing like a whole walkthrough or, or whatever, man. But comment down below. What do you guys think uh, about these being struggles a game? Give me your, I said top three at first, but give me your top five Dragon Ball games of all time. Uh, there's a lot of Dragon Ball games out there, bro. So, I mean, I imagine it's going to be hard, but um, I already gave you guys my five. Budokai, Battle of Z. Uh, and these are not in no order. So, but uh, Budokai, uh, the first one, Battle of Z, uh, Xenoverse, Kakarot, and then Sparkling Zero. Never played Raging Blast. Uh, didn't play Ultimate, uh, Budokai, whatever. But other than that, man, comment down below. What do you guys think about this? Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. You guys are new. And peace.